This city is said to be the most expensive to live. Rent prices are crazy high, car insurance averaging $500 a month. And also, this is one of the most popular city in the world. This is Toronto, the city of dreams. So in this video, we're gonna go to Toronto and see if it is actually expensive to live. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Waiting for my Uber, right is in 10 minutes. I'm really excited for this trip. Toronto is one of my favorite city. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward for it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Yeah, I'm pretty foggy. Jesus Christ. Zero degrees outside, waiting for my Uber. Time is now 5.05. I've got to be there by 6.10. It's gonna be a tight squeeze, but uh, let's see. My Uber is there. Uber is there, buddy. Let's go. All right, just landed in Toronto. Got my first coffee. Black, two, two sugar. It's pretty windy, as you can see. It's pretty cool. I'm here at the uh, harbor front. We all know that Toronto is expensive, but today is gonna be something different. Today is gonna be what I'm gonna spend in the day in Toronto. So I'm gonna show you guys how it's gonna be living in Toronto, like in a frugal way, as a student. Yeah, it's really cool outside. So I just came into the farm boy, a really good supermarket. I'll show you guys how it looks like. Got some big cruises out here. Definitely not cheap for sure. This is the view right now. I'm trying to save my calories for the lunch because uh, I heard like Toronto has some really good Indian spots. I'm trying to get a good buffet. Uh, I'm thinking Indian food for lunch. So I'm just trying to save my calories. Uh, I recently started my 12 week uh, calorie deficit. So, uh, you know, gotta do a little bit of sacrifice. Anyways, today is gonna be a really exciting one. I love Toronto, it's my uh, fourth time visiting. We're gonna explore the downtown and uh, we're gonna see like what's really going on in the city. Is that really expensive? Let's find out. This is what I'm talking about, look at that. All right, so you're in Toronto. It's like a three hours ride from London. It took a while because of the traffic. Uh, so I need to find, I need to get in a transit. So Toronto has some public transit called the DDC. You need to get a Presto card. It's like 10 bucks for a day pass. So I need to search a uh, nearby drug mart. So usually they sell the Presto card in like shoppers drug mart. So I need to search the nearest one for me and I need to uh, get that in order for me to, uh, in order to transit within the city. So you don't need to catch like Ubers, you don't need to worry about it. They also got some trams. They, they, they got street cars, buses, trains, you name it. They got everything. This is what I've been missing in London. The feel of the city, busyness, the honk from the vehicles. Toronto is all about fancy buildings, rush hour, being busy, traffic. I'm from a city where like 15 million people live. I'm from Chennai. It's in uh, South India, in Tamil Nadu. So it's a crazy city, 15 million people. So that's why I like more like crowded, like busy, and Toronto is like exactly what I wanted. Last time I made a video about the CN Tower. So you guys can watch it. Go ahead. Here we got some goat trails. Look at that. So these goat trails are an uh, excellent way to go to nearby cities and GDA, the greater Toronto area. So it easily connects you to Scarborough or Mississauga, or like, which is like 30 minutes away from here, roughly. So uh, it's a great way to go to these cities and escape the traffic. 
it's pretty cheap too it's like five ten bucks per right i guess not sure exactly but you get an idea the good part is actually pretty sunny it's gonna get a little warm by the night but uh it's still pretty cold it's still uh still that little coldness right at the bottom of the scene tower there's this spot called the Bendis Square in uh, Toronto. So it's like the Times Square of Canada. So I'm gonna go there, check out what's going on and uh, hopefully take some cool cinematic, not cinematic, some really good uh, time lapses. All right, guys. So we had found the uh, Shoppers Drug Mart. I got the day pass. It's like thirteen fifty, and you get like unlimited passes for a day. And it's valid up till tomorrow morning six. So pretty good deal, I would say. We also gotta keep this safe. This is not plastic. This is just a a piece of cardboard. So make sure you keep that safe. This dog is trained. It's pretty cool. For a second, I don't even know what's going on. It's so fast. I just got from a bus. I um, got in the train. I don't even know where to go. I'm just Line asking work. people, Let's just learning stuff. I like it. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty cool. Going to the uh, the last square. I got a. I was in the bus before, but right now I'm in a underground metro station in a train. So I don't know. Let's go. I mean, who needs a car if you have like this amazing transit? Car prices in Canada is absolutely ridiculous. Especially the insurance, the gas prices, it's too much. If you live in downtown Toronto, you don't need a car. Just use the public transit. Uh, I've been up from 5 in the morning, I'm starving right now, didn't have any, any meal. I had to break my fast, so I searched up online, I looked for an Indian restaurant. I found a biryani uh, place nearby, it's like 450 meters from here, so let's try. I saw like biryani, it's like 7.99, so let's see what Indian biryani house has to offer. Let's go boys. There you are. Right, I'm here at this spot. I don't know. I'm gonna try it. See you Got a slushy, another two dollars on this. Just checked in my hotel, uh, had a couple of hours sleep in, uh, got my second coffee today. I'm trying to go to YMCA, I'm trying to find the nearest YMCA, go there, get freshen up, change my outfits, and uh, Gotta get a quick swim in or something. I wanna explore the YMCA in Toronto. Another really good part is you can see the CN Tower literally from any place. Have a look at this. So I went to the nearest YMCA and I need to get a locker for my stuff. So I spent four bucks on it. And I had a really good workout. Did some deadlifts, some full body, some bicep, and tricep. It was fun. Talked to a couple of staff there. They were really friendly. This YMCA is located on the west side of Toronto. They had a decent pool, a walking track, and gym. Pretty compact, but uh, the boss wig one is always much better. So I went to Danda Square just to see how it looks during the night. It was really good. And uh, I got myself a hot dog in Five Guys, which costed me seven bucks. Let's go, boys. 
So my day one expenses in Toronto is $82.50. Guys, day two, day two in Toronto. Having my first meal. This is my first time trying the chipotle. Let's see how it, how it tastes. Actually, it's really good. I got the the steak one. It's really good. All right, what is going on, peeps? So you're doing shopping, need and mall. Look at that. Then I did some shopping in Toronto Eden Center. I got my first pair of Nike Jordans Low, which costed me $167. I know it's pretty expensive, but that's the usual price of Nike Jordan. I really wanted a pair, but uh, this color really caught my eye, so I just got it. And then I grabbed a Subway for dinner, which costed me 18 bucks. And that's pretty much it. Then the other day morning, I booked another Mega Bus which costed me 50 bucks pretty expensive because i did that in the last moment so this video pretty much shows you guys how much you can spend in toronto what you can expect if you do it smartly you can still do it frugal and save money if you made it this far thank you for watching subscribe for more interesting videos and i'll see you guys in the next one peace